Penn State opens up the season with three wins as they now shift their attention back on the road to take on Fairfield this weekend. Alongside head coach Rob Cooper, I'm Mitch Gerber. And coach, what do you take away from this past weekend as you open up the season with three dubs? Well, you know, I mean, anytime you can start the season and, and play three games and get three wins against a quality opponent, I mean, Monmouth is going to be a good team in that conference. They always figure it out by the end and are fighting for a regional spot. You know, we had some guys make their debuts. We had some guys that, you know, have been, really been working hard to, to, to nail down certain roles. And so, and then, and then also, most importantly, you know, one of the things that I think we probably hammered the most in the offseason and the fall and in the early spring was, you know, the competitive spirit and what can we can, what we can control. And, and I thought our guys, you know, the, even the guys that didn't play, their energy and their commitment to helping us win and finding a, a way to win was really good. So, you know, the nice thing is we got three wins. I think we can play, I think, and I know we're going to need to play a lot better as the season goes. So it's, it's nice to get three wins and, and also know that there's a lot we need to work on and get better at, and, and we're going to focus on doing that. You're starting rotation. Obviously, you pick up three wins, as you said, on the weekend, but you're starting rotation and pitching in general what did you take away from that well you know the biggest thing is is you always you have to have guys that are willing to go after guys I mean you can have somebody with great stuff you can have somebody with a great arm but if they're not gonna you know if they're gonna pitch too fine or try to do too much um, then it really doesn't do you any good and so I think every single one of the guys for the most part went after hitters and they may not have had their best stuff you know like Dante gave us a great start not a good start but a great start but even him I think if you were to grade it out with him his command wasn't what it could what it needs to be so he's only going to get better um, but I thought you know Mason a lot you know so Dante gave us a great start Bailey Dees gave us a great start Eric Mock gave us a great start so that means that your bullpen's in a good place as the, as the weekend goes and Mason lot did a good job of the bullpen Tyler Shingledecker making his debut did a good job you know uh, Hutch Gannon's going to be fine getting his feet wet same with Jared Freilich and, and so I was overall I was very pleased with the way they went after guys. So, so much about this is getting back into a routine for these guys. We talked about it during the All Sports press conference of, you know what, you're beating up on each other for so long, and at some point, that game has to come. You guys finally got to play that this past weekend, but how much of the routine factor is good to get back into that? Well, I, I think you nailed it on the head. I mean, you know, it's our guys were tired of competing against yeah. each other. They're tired of playing, you know, they want to play against somebody else from another school, and they, were, and they really embraced that. And, you know, it's funny because the routine part of it is big, but then also we also know that in baseball there's so much you can't control, and especially this time of year with the weather. I mean, we showed up Saturday for the game, and once we started BP, I mean, it was a pretty steady hard rain, and our guys didn't flinch. We went through our entire BP routine. We actually did it with a lot of energy and I thought got better. And, um, you know, that's something that's really encouraging because the stuff that we can't control. So, we, you know, we said it like, hey, here's the way we're going to do it. Here's the routine. This is the times we're going to do it. But then if Mother Nature, you know, says we're going to play later or, or something, you know, our guys have to be able to adjust. So we, you know, we battled weather, we battled time change, we battled temperatures, and our guys just went about it the same way. So that was very, very encouraging. And we've talked a lot about what can we control, what can we take care of, and, and that's our approach and how we handle things. We'll see what Mother Nature does this weekend as the Penn State baseball squad heads back out on the road, starting with games on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday as well. So uh, we'll stay tuned to GoPSUSports.com for plenty of content leading up to the first home opener.